Joining me on Fan TV after the 4-3 Autumn Cup semi-final first leg victory uh, against the East Windham Wildcats, I've got man of the match Tom Norton and goal scorer Glenn Billing. Uh, great performance and a, a real positive result to take down to Wilshire, Tom. Yeah, it's good to go down with um, a one-goal lead, um, especially as we went 2-0 down. Again, we showed a lot of character, kept working hard, penned them in their zone and um, we outworked them and I think we fully deserved those four goals on the bounce that we got. Uh, uh, Glenn, the Phantoms perhaps are accused of having um, wobbly middle periods. The second period is uh, is kind of a, a bit of a no-go zone sometimes, but tonight that was an awesome period. Yeah, uh, obviously we didn't start how we wanted going two down, but yeah, second period we came out flying and four unanswered goals. We got a bit grittier and as just not said, outworked them and penned them in their end and yeah, got hit four straight, which won us the game in the end, so it was good. Uh, it, it's certainly pleasing to see uh, the Phantoms take that one goal lead and of course uh, the, the, the measure of uh, a side like Swindon is the, the degree to which they came back, it was nip and tuck throughout and of course Nell gets the power play goal toward the end. Yeah, it was um, a big goal for them. I think I was speaking to Welds and the hand, uh, after the handshake, and um, you know, one goal, two goals. It's still very, very close. And you know how much foul, firepower they've got. I mean, shown last year when we got awarded that five nil in the playoffs. I mean, they nearly came back then and um, snuck it against us. So we've got to go there and um, be ready to play. Gritty, defensive, smart hockey. Games against the Swindon Wildcats are, are always tough between these two sides. We've had quarter-finals and semi-finals and, uh, against them. And uh, I would suggest to you that that's amongst the, the, the hardest game we've had this season and some of the best hockey, certainly through the first two periods that we've had. Yeah, absolutely. They're, as Nort said, they're a really good hockey team. Uh, I thought tonight's game was really quick and, uh, as you said, probably the, one of the best of the year. Um, so, yeah, it was two good hockey teams going toe-to-toe -to -toe and that's the games we want to play in. So it's um, good we came the right side of it. Both of you on the uh, score sheet again tonight, Glenn. You'll be pleased with that as a, as a forward, but Norton two again. Yeah, blacked out a little bit. You know, <laughs> just kind of hit it and hope it, just get it towards the goal. I was disappointed. Those two power plays near the end was. It, I mean, I don't know. Obviously, if you retain possession, they haven't got it, and I, I wondered if you were going to have a big wind up for the for number three. I think you have to sometimes um, take your medicine a bit and realise what the game is and um, keeping it down low is a little bit smarter because you know you fluff a shot, a guy blocks it and they go the other way and score a breakaway and then we're going there with um, a draw instead of a one goal lead so you know the most important thing is that we um, take the lead down to Swindon and you know as nice as it would have been to get a hat trick um, I'd rather have the win. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, we'll see you on Sunday. Basing set Bison here. A big game for us, a league game, and then down to Swindon on Friday night. Nice to talk to you.